about 10 years ago in this exact canyon, a friend and I experienced something very, very weird and slightly unexplainable. And I'm about to tell you guys that story right now. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I am currently parked on the top of Turnbull Canyon. It's basically a long windy road that connects one city to the other. But the thing about this canyon is that it has a really chilling history. If you're not too familiar with Turnbull Canyon, let me give you a brief history. The Ascension to Hell. The haunted history of Turnbull Canyon. Turnbull Canyon has long been rumored to be home to occult meetings, ghostly haunts, the scene of brutal murders and tragic accidents. How is it that this seemingly peaceful hiking trail has earned a reputation as a place of mischief and evil? Does this canyon truly keep dark secrets? Or are the tales of Hal's Gate, a mysterious plane crash, and KKK meetings just ghost stories? All right, so now I'm gonna get into my story. So this story that I'm about to tell you guys, I haven't really shared with pretty much anyone, only because it just seems so unreal and bizarre and fake. So one day, this was about 10 years ago, probably a little bit more, me and my friend Alan, we used to drive through here all the time just for fun. I used to live on one side of the canyon. My friend used to live in my old hometown down on this side of the canyon, right? So we'd always be going back and forth to each other's places, hanging out, whatnot. So one night, we're coming back from my place to drop off my friend. We didn't think anything of it. It was just a normal night, driving through the canyon. It's always creepy, but you never really think anything of it. You never really see anything for yourself. You just hear stories. So we're driving up the canyon, right? As we're, as we're pulling up to like a big turn, we notice one of those vans, you know, like those kidnapper vans, like those white vans, no windows. You can't even see anything. So we see one of those on the right side of the road along with this like massive looking guy and immediately it just seems weird and suspicious to see one of those kidnapper type of vans in a canyon like this just parked on the side of the road already weird you know what i'm saying we're looking out of our window this way and as we're driving by it looks like he's putting something down or picking something up that's how i've always described it like you know just so as we're driving by i notice it's a stuffed animal and immediately immediately my brain's like what the hell first thing i thought of was this guy is a kidnapper he has the kidnapper looking van there's a kid in the back who threw out one of his stuffed animals or something like as a cry for help so this dude is in a like bent over position and he gets up with like no fear no nothing just stares in our window directly at us like in our window in my freaking soul it felt like so we're immediately freaked out by this dude just because he looks so weird He's in a kidnapper van, he's picking up a stuffed animal or something with a stuffed animal. And my friend starts freaking out because we didn't know what to think. Like, we didn't know what was going on or nothing. It was just weird. He's like, go, 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 go. I don't know, maybe in his mind he thought it was like some kind of serial killer. The way he looked at us, I think it freaked both of us out immediately. So like I said, in the back of my mind, I'm like, no, there's a kid in there that needs to be saved or something, something like that is happening. So as my friend's telling me to go, I'm pulling up to like the next two like curvy turns in the canyon and I make a U-turn immediately. I drove back to like just see what the hell is this guy doing. When we got back, he was gone. The dude was completely freaking gone. The kidnapper van was gone. He wasn't standing there anymore. He's just gone. In the area that he was standing in that like wide turn, there's this little like, I don't even know how to say it. You know, when you pull up to a new city and there's like a little thing right there and it says, welcome to Springfield, for example, it's just like a little thing. So in that little thing, there's like stuffed animals there. There's like about four, five, six stuffed animals in that little area, right? So we're just like, what the hell? Like, why did he leave stuffed animals here? What, what is he doing? So we continue going the way that he would have left, you know, where we originally came from. We went down the canyon a little bit. We didn't see anybody. We went basically to the exit of the canyon on that side and we didn't see nothing. We didn't see his van, we didn't see him, no nothing. So we were like, dude, that guy was freaking weird. What the hell was he doing? He's probably a kidnapper, but he's gone. And we can't do anything now. And so we'll just continue where we were going back home. So as we're driving that first time back to my friend's house, we noticed stuffed animals like on the way through the canyon. On the sides of the roads, like every little while, there's like a stuffed animal on the side of the road, right? So this only freaked me out even more to see even more stuffed animals all along the road every so often. So in my mind, I'm like back to kidnapper mode, like holy shit, this dude really is a kidnapper. This kid was tossing stuffed animals. So we pretty much get to the end 
of that side, like our home side, I guess you could say, where I'm dropping off my friend. And we're like, we gotta go back and just see what else we see. Maybe the guy is coming back for his stuffed animals or whatever the hell he's up to. I don't even know what we were thinking at the time, but we just went back. So as we're driving back up the canyon, this is where it gets weird and literally unexplainable. Literally unexplainable. But I'm gonna try to explain like what I saw, what happened. And this is, this part coming up is the reason why I never really tell anybody this story because it just seems so BS. And I'm not just making this story up for a video. I could do freaking any other video. Like this is really, it really happened. The story really happened. I'm not bullshitting you guys at all. So as we're coming back up the canyon, no bullshit, put it on anything. We see more stuffed animals, right? We see the stuffed animals again, but this time, they're in different locations. I'm, I'm seeing different types of stuffed animals that I didn't see and in areas that I didn't see them in to begin with. I've been to this canyon multiple times, drove through it so many times. I know the turns when I see them, like, oh, this is that one big turn, this is that little turn. So I'm like talking to my friend, like, dude, I didn't see those the first time we were going down. Like, what the heck, where are these stuffed animals coming from? But I'm like, okay, maybe I just, wasn't paying attention to every single one. And now I'm noticing different ones because we're coming up a different angle, you know? We're going up instead of going down the canyon. So I'm like, okay, whatever. The situation is still weird. Why are there stuffed animals everywhere? Why does it seem like there's different ones in different locations? It's still freaking weird. So we get to the other side pretty much where that guy originally was around that same area. And we're like, okay. So we made it pretty much back this way. Let's go back down again, back home and just see what happens. Like, okay, let's get out of here. I guess. So as we're going back, same thing again. I'm noticing stuffed animals, teddy bears, whatever you want to call it, plushies, in places where they weren't. And this time, I am like 100% confident that I am seeing stuffed animals in areas that they just weren't before. I remember going around a specific really wide turn, like a really wide turn, there's like an amazing view. I th That turn is unmistakable. And I remember looking like this as I'm driving, and I'm like, dude, what the f***? Like, there was not a stuffed animal there the first time. Like, I saw it with my own eyes. I saw that turn when we were coming back up and down the freaking first time. There was not a stuffed animal there. And all of a sudden, there's one there. And I'm just like, how is this possible? So at this point, I'm like at max freak out. I'm like, dude, I'm like, there's no freaking way that these stuffed animals, I'm not saying they're moving. In my mind, I was thinking maybe like the guy was, some, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Like at the time, I didn't know what to think. I was just like, what the f is happening? And I don't know what's happening that I don't know, dude. I, I don't know. Like that's some like black magic witchcraft ass shit. To top it all off, as we're going down back to our home and we're 100% convinced that some weird shit is happening, who knows freaking what. We're almost to the bottom of the canyon, right? And on the right side of the road, I see, and I remember this so freaking clearly, a Winnie the Pooh. Like it was like about that big, a little Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal just on the side of the road. And I was, I guess that 100% sealed it for me because it was so clear. I was like, dude, that's a freaking Winnie the Pooh. Like that's unmistakable and that was 1000% not there. There was not a freaking Winnie the Pooh there. I already passed this like two or three times and it was just like, dude, even even right now thinking about it and like telling, rethinking the story in my head and like telling you guys, it's hard to even think about and imagine it happening in real life at, like at the time it was happening because I'm like, dude, what do I even say? Like, what do I tell you guys? Like, I don't know. I don't know what was happening. Like if you guys have any type of idea, what freaking who knows what the hell was controlling this whole situation like what was going down bro i am telling you guys 100 percent with my whole freaking soul i am not lying 1000 percent that is literally what happened and i i don't know dude i'm still freaking mind blown and yeah, like I said, I don't like telling that story because it just seems so stupid. I guess it's a hard story for me to tell because I don't have an explanation. I just have like what I remember, what I seen, what happened. And I don't have an explanation. Like it's like, oh dude, I saw this and this is why because blah, 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 blah. But with this story, like I don't have anything to continue on. It's just like, dude, that's what happened. And I don't know why it's so freaking weird. All right. So we finally get back to the bottom. We're going to my friend's house, drop him off, blah, blah, blah. But you know, on, on our way there, we're talking about like everything that happened. And we're like, dude, what the hell was that? The kidnapper looking guy and the kidnapper looking van. 
putting down or picking up a stuffed animal that's what like triggered it to begin with when we saw him picking something up or putting something down and he just stared at us he like got up he like rose to his feet and just like glared through our window dude with like no fear no fear at all he had such little fear that put fear in us just the way he just like like his freaking head just moved as we passed by it was freaking creepy dude so we're talking about it and we're like yeah i don't know what happened hopefully you know hopefully we're wrong that wasn't a kidnapper guy and that's that but that doesn't explain the whole stuffed animal thing it just doesn't explain anything at all it's just literally impossible but i say it's impossible but at the same time like i saw it happening so i don't know like even what to say it just makes my brain like <laughs> so we're talking about the dude right we're talking about the guy that we saw and <laughs> my friend oh my god dude this this always cracks myself up because he's still freaking out like we're talking about it but he's like super animated like dude no that guy like he looks so freaking weird blah 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 but the part that cracks me up is he always describes him as looking like he had a cage on his face i don't even know exactly what he means like a bird cage or just like some wires or some metal i don't know what he means but every time i remember that it cracks me up because it's just like cage face like what is that but it's not for nothing because i remember passing by the dude and me noticing before my before he, i even told my friend like oh dude did you see his face before even that my friend described him as like you know whatever it looked like he had whatever over his face me i saw and i remember seeing his face looking weird one of the things i remember when i saw him was like dude something is wrong with his face i think that's probably what freaked us out too because i just remember seeing like he was like in the shadows right he was like in the shadows like under like these big old trees and i just remember seeing like oh freaking ah oh, it's so hard to describe like lines scars or gashes ah oh, dude it's so hard to explain but just picture like having something like you know like something freaking weird on his face and the fact that like we both noticed it and my friend told me about it before i even told him like yeah something really was going on with his face that freaked us both out i don't know what was on his face or who that was but it was weird and unexplainable and it's honestly probably like the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me especially because i just can't give an answer as to what it was even today like i don't know what happened exactly and then the scary part is like weird bad evil stuff actually does happen here in this canyon like there's true documented stories of murders and attempted murders and whatnot happening here but ever since that day it's been a long time and nothing nothing else has happened i don't have any other weird stories that's pretty much my only weird story besides me almost dying in this canyon myself but not to something weird i used to uh i used to drive through these canyons i used to have my little race car back in the day i was young and dumb yeah <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of the story. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I don't even know what to think of it myself and it's been over 10 years and I'm still confused just as when it happened. If you guys have any, any type of explanation, please comment down below and let me know what do you think it could have been? Was it some kind of like weird black magic where we just tripping and keep in mind we weren't on any drugs no alcohol no nothing like that at all but yeah it's getting dark i hope you guys enjoyed the story i'm gonna get out of here before some more weird crap happens to me drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the story and as always i really appreciate you guys watching i'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so subscribe please i lied about leaving i'm still here it's getting freaking dark it's getting scary yo so tell me why as i'm coming up here to record some footage for you guys i find this now before i show you guys let me just say i've watched way too many freaking tiktoks of randonautica and people finding dead bodies in trash bags so i am not gonna fuck with this at all Bro, what the fuck is that what is that what is that